All we can do is show our support, say some prayers um, for the children, all the children that were affected. Um, it's heartbreaking. A commemorative mass held in honor of the victims of the daycare bus crash here in Laval, north of Montreal, Friday morning, two days after two four year olds were killed and six other children were injured. To be in solidarity with these families, to come here and pray because. Uh, the life is not finished. It's finished. It's not finished for the kids neither because they are in heaven. The mass held at the Saint Rose de Lima church in the small community where the tragedy occurred. Two candles stood tall on the altar right by a teddy bear representing the two young victims, one of whom the pastor had a special connection to. Because it's, it's me who baptized that little boy and three years after he's dead. What I can say. The only thing that I can do is offer him to God. Many came out to pay tribute to the little ones, adding to the ever growing memorial. It could have been our grandchildren, as well as every other grandparents or parents that live in the area. Coming from Toronto, Rocco and Elena's grandchildren used to attend the Garderie Educative Saint Rose that was targeted Wednesday morning by 51 year old Pierre Ni Saint Amand, charged with two counts of first degree murder. And for us, it was worth the five hour drive to come up and show some support to the families. Um, I know everybody across Canada is probably in shock. It's unexplainable. <laughs> We came here today just to pay our respects as, you know, fellow parents because I can't imagine how it's, you know, how it can be not to see your kids after you send them to daycare for the day. So. We are all connected and so when one feels, we all feel and by pulling together, this is how we hold each other up. The ceremony, a way to give hope and peace to a grieving community. A funeral for one of the children will be held at the church February 16th. We have to now to take our strength and to continue to live with these families who live uh, a awful thing. In Laval, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.